Okay, folks, we're off to Milan. Buongiorno. Hi. Uh, Good morning. Is it for uh, the music? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So our driver is as good in English as every Italian I've ever met, I think. I car Tesla, so Tesla. So my also here with them. This is a crazy good hotel. But the Tesla driver, our driver from the airport, was insane. <laughs> I think it's the first time he drove that car and he drove like almost 200 kilometers per hour. Convert this. Insane guy. What's in the bag? USB T-shirt Last night we were very touristy and we visited a few cool places uh, and today it's happening. We're going over to the Yamaha uh, Quarters? <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Hen headquarters. Headquarters? Yeah. <laughs> Yamaha Headquarters. And, uh, quarters? We're gonna <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're going to check out some uh, new stuff from Yamaha and uh, Line 6. So. Hi, Maracchioli. Maracchioli, one and two. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. I got my teeth on wedding rings in the movies. And I'm not proud of my affairs. Have it done? Cheers. Yeah, I'm trying out the new uh, Shuriken from uh, Line 6. I've been wanting to try this guitar for a while and it sounds killer. Uh, I can't show the sound right now but you can choose here between different tunings like octave, drop A, so you can have standard tuning and just switch it and then go completely different. And it sounds not fake, it sounds really good. I want this guitar. Really impressed. I'm really honored and excited for being here and that's, that will be a day full of surprises for you guys. Norwegian weather with us from, from Norway to Italy. It's thunder and rain, but it's hot, so it's okay. And we have umbrellas and ice cream. They sell ice cream there. No, they don't sell it, they give it.
I'm very honoured to collaborate with Line 6 and Yamaha to embrace the future and revolutionise something that hasn't fundamentally changed in over 60 years, the electric guitar. So 12 Foot Ninja has been fortunate enough to build an international touring career out of doing things a little bit differently using Line 6's Variax technology and the Helix that we have here, as it was mentioned. Yeah. Um, who you are, where you come from? Uh, my name is Leo. I'm from uh, Norway. I run a YouTube channel called uh, Frog Leap Studios, where I mainly do covers, metal covers of uh, popular songs. And uh, a lot of people like it. And that's why I'm suddenly here in Italy and testing out cool gear. And uh, how did you get started with that? Uh, I've had the YouTube channels for many years. Um, I used to just vlog about my bands and doing stuff with my old bands. And uh, then I started a music studio around 2011. And I used the channel to promote myself in the area to get bands and doing like acoustic live shows. Uh, and then because I have a metal background, I did a metal cover of uh, Lady Gaga's Poker Face. And uh, that kind of went viral. And then I realized you can make a living out of it. And I like to work by myself and being creative and doing video and music and everything myself. So yeah, it's been really good. And uh, who would you say are your influences? Uh, I grew up in the 90s, so I'm, I'm from that area like like the metals from the 90s and uh, yeah, Pantera, Rage Against Machine and all this stuff. But as, as I'm getting older, I don't, I try to get influenced by all types of music. That's the most uh, interesting to do, to incorporate different stuff into a specific genre. That's why I'm really into like types of boards like uh, the Helix and also the Shuriken guitar because there are so many possibilities to do different types of stuff, so, yeah. And uh, so you've got a huge following on YouTube. Yeah. Um, so was that, that was built up just by your covers and you just were recording it, what, on a daily basis, weekly basis? Yeah, I've been really consistent doing one cover a week. So I'm recording uh, the whole song and shooting a music video and releasing it on a Friday. So it's it's a lot of work when you're doing full on recording. Like, yeah, because I'm recording like four track rhythm guitars. So I have like 50 tracks on each song. So it's really, I like to work in details. So that's my, my strength is not sh guitar shredding. It's more everything producing and uh, knowing what fits where and and being really consistent about uh, everything. Um, so who would you say, if you could work with anyone, who would you work with? Uh, I don't know. I, I used to have like heroes before, but uh, uh, maybe Mike Patton from Faith and More is one of my vocal heroes. But uh, really, types of people playing different stuff than me because that's what's uh, the most interesting working in the studio getting bands in who play jazz or whatever and I could pick up like look at what they're doing and like hmm I never thought of doing these kind of shapes on guitar or you want to show us a little bit like I don't know <laughs> but yeah yeah just using different kinds of chords and build up to songs 
like because I get really uh, inspired by that kind of stuff and really want to do something like that straight away when I see it. So, How have you enjoyed today? It's been really nice. Me and all my wife came in yesterday, so we had a tourist day in Milano. And uh, yeah, great hotel, great stay. So, And today has been awesome. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been mostly interested in, in the shuriken guitar, so I was really... Happy when I saw that. So, but yeah, the whole day has been good. The weather is the same as in Norway, raining. So, <laughs> everyone has said that about the weather. Yeah. So, but we're so used to it; it doesn't matter. It's hot, so it's all right. Exactly. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Is there anything else you'd like to say? No. Uh, thanks for uh, having us here. It's been a delight. Good. We're we're really glad to have you. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're back at the hotel. It was uh, a cool day, checking out some uh, new guitars and uh, basses from uh, Yamaha. I really want a new five-string bass and the one I tried there, I don't remember the name, was really good. So I've just been to the pharmacy because every time I get a mosquito bite in Italy, my arm just swallows up. So that's beautiful. But we're going to a place I think is called Alcatraz tonight with uh, all the people from the event and uh, yeah, we're gonna eat dinner and watch some concert with uh, uh, Billy Sheen is playing who is a bassist that I really admire so that's gonna be cool and some other guys that I've heard about so yeah, it's gonna be a good night What do you think? Yes! Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm here with uh, Stevie. Stevie. <laughs> uh, he's the. Uh, we know each other from way back. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> yes. He's the inventor of the shuriken. Well, the uh, I designed the shuriken, but the technology part is is line six. But you said what he wanted to have one on a guitar. Yep. Yep. And I saw a video from this guy a few months back and uh, I just saw the possibilities he did with the different tunings and everything. It was, for me as a musician, some of you who follow my channel know that I use a lot of different guitars and different tunings, all from baritone to standard tuning and also mixing in like banjo stuff for just silly strings. And uh, this guy just came up with a, a concept of you can mute the strings and you can yeah you can do whatever and I, I was a little skeptic but I tried it out today and just the just the feeling of the different tunings was like something I never yeah. imagined before are you happy with the product yeah I mean there's always room for improvement yeah but I think this is the best version that exists right now yeah and there's always something. Yeah, always. But like, for for me, like metal stuff and and gentle stuff, I can feel there's a small delay there. Just I a think, small. I mean, it's hard. I'm I'm probably not the best person to comment on it because I've been using it for so long. So yeah. you know, you sort of adjust. Yeah. Um, I think when I'm down super low, like double drop D, yeah. maybe there's a, like a super, I don't know. It, it's not audible if you record it, Yeah, but it's something in the feeling. But still, I, I noticed it when I went super low, Yeah. but still after 
20 seconds it was like yeah I didn't care well we record all our stuff with with um, Shuriken and Variax Tech and it, it, it is interesting when you record to a grid with a click track yeah. you know it lines up yeah you know so yeah, you don't have to yeah so I think it's a it's a weird yeah what you just said it's kind of a weird thing that you it's an adjustment to the plane a little bit yeah but after a few minutes of playing you kind of you're in the zone and that's it but the most important thing is it's the sound yeah and the sound it was like it was like an actual baritone or yeah whatever well I, I AB'd a lot of um, seven strings and eight strings yeah. against the model tuning and I blind tested the bands I'm like pick the best one yeah they pick Variax technology so it's it's very very clean crisp because the string tension is like a six string like a standard six string yeah. so you're playing an octave lower than D but in standard tension yeah. that's hard to get that kind of effect with a like an eight string guitar or something. yeah yeah the string's got to be super thick it's you know yeah, like, it's much easier to play <laughs> yeah totally yeah. But no. when you uh, do you use uh, stereo from the helix, a stereo like an amp on the left or right? No, I keep it very simple. I, I run a noise gate, I run a um, like a preamp simulator, and an impulse response, and that's it. So the impulse response is the, it's the cabinet. And that's a, like a Mesa Boogie sort of vibe. That you've done yourself? <coughs> no, no, it's just, it's just um, I can't remember the name of the um, the company. I just yeah. bought a pack and went, that yeah, sounds yeah, cool. Okay. Well, you know, I haven't, it's not like I sculpted it out of ice with a chainsaw. I just sort of went, yep, that's good, bang, yeah. done. But w if you were a single band guitar, would you do the stereo thing? Um, well, we used to be a four piece for the first, <coughs> two EPs and album and um, I ran stereo but I still had the main single mono okay yeah yeah so I, I, I never really I used to better years and years ago and then that had a double tracking feature where you could you know some pan and yeah, okay. yeah that was that was way back and that's like when I think the sugar were using better yeah, okay, <coughs> but um, yeah, because I used it on the X3 uh, pot. Yeah, the X3 brought in the. Yeah, and I really so. like like you could have difference yeah. in the stereo, but yeah. only live and only one guitar. Yeah, then it's good. Yeah. Okay, so we're running mono on. Uh, I use stereo effects. Yeah, but um, mono signals. So with it, because there's two of us. You know, the dip, our sound engineer Dilsey will pan it in front of house if, yeah. it's, if it's a stereo in front of house. But most of them are these days. They used to be all mono, but we're finding more and more a stereo, so yeah, yeah we use that. Well, thank you very much. Dude, thank you. No worries. Appreciate it. Awesome. Check them out, 12th of India. Yes. Mr. Peter Hook and the Light. <laughs> Back at the, we're back at the hotel and uh, it was a great day, great night, long day and now we're gonna sleep. <laughs> Good morning folks, so uh, now we're leaving back to Norway, uh, it's been a 
great stay here in uh, Milano. I want to thank, we want to thank Line 6 and uh, Yama. Right, Stina? It's um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Stina says she's very happy. So, yeah, definitely gonna check out some new gear from those companies, and yeah, you should too. And I'll see you later. Right, Stina? See you later.